quality. It's obvious just by looking outside, you can see the smoke. For Great Falls area, you're in yellow. That means moderate. You'll want to limit your time outdoors or at least limit vigorous activity outdoors. Now look at Helena. This area is in the orange, meaning unhealthy for sensitive groups. This means if you are sensitive, you may experience some health effects. You'll want to remain indoors as much as possible. Now, some of the smoke is coming from Canada, most of it to our west, though. Here's a look at the fires burning in our state right now. There are 44 active fires, according to MT Fire Info site. Now, we know it's dry this time of year. Walk in grass that hasn't been watered, and yes, it is crunchy. This shows our current fire restrictions. The northwestern part of the state, the dark orange, that means there are stage two restrictions in place. Head east, Toole, Liberty, Hill, and Ponderay counties, all in stage one. This means campfires are prohibited, and when smoking, make sure you do it inside. Now, much of our area is not under any restrictions. We were curious how and when these restrictions are implemented, so we asked the experts. The counties involved, um, and then, of course, the federal lands, and then you have your state land managers are represented at um, the park. Um, and then we also involve, you know, U.S. Fish and Wildlife, Montana Fish and Wildlife Parks. You know, you want them both involved. And so they meet on Tuesday morning, and usually when they make that decision, it'll be implemented that next Saturday. So it gives um, time to get all the paperwork in order to um public outreach and then goes into effect Saturday morning is how they've done it. MTN News was also told that fire restrictions not being as prevalent in central Montana can be traced to a few factors, including a high number of fire suppression resources being available and a regression in human started fires in the area. There is still a red flag warning in effect for central Montana and the Forest Service still recommends exercising extreme caution while outdoors. Now, with winds picking up on Friday, all Montanans should be prepared for fire season. Ensure there is space around your property by trimming or removing trees and bushes and remove combustible material away from structures. Make sure you have an evacuation plan and that your family knows what to do and where to meet in case of a fire. Make sure and keep an inventory of your personal property on the cloud or on a personal device such as a cell phone. Still no word tonight on what sparked a house fire near Bynum last night. Now, thankfully, the family was not injured, although they believe their animals did not make it. Crews were at the property well into the night, demolishing the home to prevent any new fire starts.